Okay, I'm just drawing the bracket bearing exercise 10 out of school certificate technical drawing. Um, let's just first up, as always, draw your bounding boxes to um, lay out your orthogonal views. So we have got 152 mil wide by, let's let the computer do it, 86 plus 28. 114 mil, done. Up on top, obviously, it's 114. By the depth of the thing is 66 plus 10 is 76. And coming out the right hand side, let me just pitch out a 45 degree line just to make life easy for me later. 45, done. And just pitch these lines out and draw them down. And let's just extend these out now and remove the ones I don't. Okay, done. So there's our outline. There's our three views. Now, of course, in this front view, we've got, let's just start working on the front view. We have got to pitch that line down 28 mil. And what else do I need? Pitch the base up 16. I think that's it as far as that. Pitch this one in off the center line. I've just got to measure out 51. So let's put in a center line. One center line. I've got to pitch that center line out. 51 mil both sides. 51 mil out both sides. And one, two, bang. Okay, that's the um, distance between the holes down the bottom. Okay, um, now let's just have a look at the front view. So I've laid out center lines. I'll just make this one into a center line. There you go, battery's turned back on again. Um, that's a center line. Let's just now add these circles, then I'll just um, clean it up. So the first circle I need, let me put it back on center marks, is there. That's diameter 56 on the inside. Let's just check that says diameter 56. Yes, it does. And on the inside, I need a diameter 32. So that's 32. Done. Coming in here, I need to just come in 12 mil. I'll just pitch a circle out so I can delete it easily. 12 mil in. And you can see looking at the right hand side that that line goes from here and to tangent to that circle, like so. Now, from that, I need to pitch in a radius 32. I know that I have got 32 mil radius from here. Uh, half of double 32 is 64 mil. And I also know I am 32 mil off this. 32, done. So there's my center of the circle. Let's just lay that circle in, then I'll just clean up the um, left hand. I'm cleaning up the lines. So if I hit that, then I should also have a tangent to that, which I do. Okay, let's now delete things I don't need. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that anymore. There's a center mark dimensioned. And delete, 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 delete. So that's the um it's essentially half of the um side view done let's just now lay out this from here i'm going to pick any spot and delete the um bits i don't need later it's 16 mil wide that rib so let's now clean up that rib that's um not needed can see a line there that shouldn't be so and the original drawing 
that there sits like that, that sits like so. And of course I've got a diameter 12 hole sitting here, so let's just once again pick a spot on that and just go 12 mil. And oops, done. cinema I want a hidden detail done okay so now let's just select everything that's inside there minus that line and mirror it done and I think that is or forget about think that is the front view drawn coming at it from the right hand side I'm going to just offset that 10 mil and offset this one 16 mil and the holes are 25 mil out. Done. I know that this one here comes across there somehow. I know that. What else do I need to bring across? This one here comes across here. I'll put that all the way through. And that looks to me to be about it. Okay. So what we actually do need to do as well is, I'll just draw that in as a tangent to the bottom of the circle. Done. Okay. So this one here is also 50 mil long. So I'm going to offset this back by 50 mil. Going to just delete this circle. I'm going to just restore that full circle. Length 48 out for the rib and it is 50 out for the um, shaft support. So that rib nestles in 2 mil in underneath. So 48 mil out from there comes to here that's the underside of the rib where the underside of the rib meets and comes out here 50 mil to the end of this so we have got multiple 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 things there let me just clean this up so it doesn't get confusing I've got three of pitch dimensions that are all slightly different that one there is the center line of the holes from the back, that is 16 plus 25 is 41, plus 10 is 51 mils off the back. This is 50 mils off the back. The start of this is 48 mils off the back. So I've got three things to worry about. I know that that's a steady radius, diameter 32. So let's now locate this um, center of this radius that I'm drawing down here. So I'll need 64 mil double. Let's pitch in now this radius 32 web. From there, it's 32 mil down, uh, 32 mil out, so 32 mil out. From that, it comes out here somewhere. I also know that I'm 32 mil off the base, off here. Thirty-two mil radius puts us there. How does that go as far as a circle? Come from there to that. Done. Let's just now delete what I don't need, which is all. Just cleaning up what's unnecessary now. From here, I'm going to just add in my hidden hole. It's 12 mil radius, so done. Let's just now clean up what I once again I don't need. Done, done. Good day, good day. Oops, I've actually wiped out what I did need there. 
here goes again. I'll just put that circle back in. 32 off there. 32 off there. And this time, don't delete it. That looks better. So there is our um, web drawn. Extend to next, there and there. Of course, the um, tangency point where the web meets is there. Let's take that across and just remove the lines I don't need. I don't see the um I don't see a line there because it's just a channel blend from one radius into the um straight. So I don't see that. They stop there and that feeds out to there's our side view drawn. Top view once again, I'll just pitch some of the details up. Being that we have a sectional view coming, we um, don't need to do too much here. I'm going to just do these one at a time, just because it, there's that many lines close together on this one. Two, same thing, I'll only do a half view and then I'll mirror it, because that's one of the advantages of CAD, you can work quicker. So I'll need that there. That goes all the way to the back. Delete that later. Okay, I'll need the front view. Coming from there, straight up to there, done. And I'll need to pitch in this. And I'll just offset one of them 16 mil back. From there back to there. I did realise I missed one thing, so I'm coming back at the tail end. What I've got here, as well I'm going to go to the end point, that web actually finishes here. And that stiffening web looking at the back. So that back line finishes up here, does not finish level with the quadrant as I've drawn it. So that one goes into there, that one goes into there. And they, that little bit of the line disappears. Delete them, delete that, delete that. All that's left is the center mark and the center holes. And the intersection point straight out in front. And let's just put the hole in there first. It's diameter 12. Okay, now let's just start cleaning things up. Well, first thing, I'll just mirror all that. Minus that. Mirror them about that. There's our um, top view. There's our front view. There's our right side view. Okay, so there it is. Let's just start dimensioning. This was a tangency and a dimensioning exercise. Um, of course, that one there. Just looking at what I've got to draw, that one there and that one there marry up, and that's out. Okay, there it is finished. Of course now, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. So there's our top view, yep. There's our front view, doesn't have that, doesn't have that, doesn't have that. Yep. That's it, that's our three views. What I might do first up is, let's now just get some neater center marks. So there's our center mark. Let's just copy that center mark across twice more. That's indicating a center mark. And now let's just draw in a centre line down to there and for this one and this one. I'm 
going to change them to a standard centerline. And for this one, I'm going to just extend him out a bit. So the item completely marked. We'll just put in a couple of hidden detail marks because I think we'll need should should put the hidden detail in for this one. And same same. I did realise I missed one thing, so I'm coming back at the tail end. That web actually finishes here. And that stiffening web looking at the back. So that back line finishes up here, does not finish level with the quadrant as I've drawn it. So that one goes into there, that one goes into there, and that little bit of the line disappears. Okay, so there it is. Let's just start dimensioning. This was a tangency and a dimensioning exercise. Now we just got to dimension it. I won't bore you to tears, I'll just give you the finished item.